So you're thinking about Lauren, South Carolina, and you're not sure if you want to live here yet. Well, in this video, I'm going to go over some things about it, where you could work, where you can live, what you can do, and see if Lauren, South Carolina is just right for you. So stay tuned and let's unpack everything. So this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about the Greenville area and places like we are today in Lauren, South Carolina, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything about the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and I want to make sure that you have a smooth transition to the upstate. So whether it's a week from now or a year from now, make sure you reach out to us so we can help you have a smooth transition. All of my information is below and let's jump into the video. So if you're wondering what you're going to do if you live here and where you're going to eat if you live in Lawrence, South Carolina, well, I'm standing in downtown Lawrence and there's not a short supply for restaurants. There's Roma for a restaurant. There's the crepe place. There's a fine dining space that just closed down, but do not fret. The developers are already in search of a fine dining restaurant chain to come on in and make it an amazing experience. I would say probably about two months to three months out before we'll see that happen. So if you're in downtown Lawrence, you're going to have definitely places to eat and various things to choose from for you. There's lots of places for you to go that are outdoor adventures, like there's the park, there's PD City Park, there's Lake Rabin. There's lots of places for you to explore for outdoor adventures in Lawrence area, whether you're going to have to go to Fountain or go to Clinton, but you're going to have fun things to do in the Lawrence area. So the next thing you're going to ask me is where am I going to live and what schools are there in the area? So let's talk about where you're going to live. It's much like Gray Court and we have a video on that. So check that out, living in Gray Court. You have lots of land still left in Lawrence in Lawrence County, okay? Yes, you heard that. Lawrence is a city in Lawrence County. There's still a lot of land, so if you want to have your house built on a piece of land, that's totally fine. If you need acreage and you want to have multiple houses, like a family compound, you could totally do that in Lawrence. There's the downtown area, so you could have walking distance to all these cute little shops where we are right now in downtown Lawrence. There are neighborhoods that are already well developed, that have good bones, all of that is wonderful. Also in Lawrence, there's new developments coming up so you can get new construction, not on its own land. So you have neighbors. If you wanna have a neighbor that you could have a cookout with, you'd have somebody right there. So there's lots for you to do and figure out where you wanna live in Lawrence. The schools are kind of spread out throughout the county. It is a District 55. So one cool thing, the high school just made it to the championships for baseball. How cool is that? It's the first time in a really long time. So Brad Shepard is one of the coaches and we're really excited for him. His wife is one of the team members and so they just did all the things for the championship and go green. So we wanna make sure we shout out for them. And the school system is really good. Um, again, Erica's daughter goes to one of the schools here and we're really really, really happy for them because they love the schools. If you want to check out the schools even more, it's niche.com. It's greatschools.org. And if you have any questions, I'm sure Erica would be glad to answer them for you. So reach out to me and I'll be glad to connect you. So I know you're questioning, where am I going to work when I live in Lawrence, Tracy? Well, you, there's lots of things you can do. You can work for the manufacturing, you work for educational services, healthcare, and you can always work for the government. And if you don't want to work inside of the Lawrence area, Lawrence County, you can go work in the areas I was talking about. You can go to Columbia, Spartanburg, or Greenville, because they're all within 35 minutes of Lawrence. So it gives you a great place to live, low cost of living, with having so many options for you to do for work. With the median income in the area of $58,000, that money goes really far here, but if you were to make a little bit more in Greenville or say Columbia and then pour that back into your home or whatever you like to do for leisure here, can you imagine your quality of life even more? So there you have it. Everything that you wanted to know about Lauren, South Carolina, where you're going to work, where you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep even. So if you have any questions about the Greenville area or Lauren specifically, make sure you reach out to us at Atlas Home Team. I'm Tracy Roberts. All of my information is below and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. Look forward to talking to you soon.